this is a matchup that pretty much uh, Ryu is advantaged at every space except for the low strong range. It's basically outside of it, Vega is uh, has to deal with this very strong fireball game outside of the mid range. Uh huh. Uh, where he doesn't really have a lot of tools to get through fireballs, so it's a lot of walking and blocking on his part. You see he went for a jump right there to try to cu cut a corner there in the matchup where he thought Harji was going to fireball. But w yeah, once he was in that mid-range, you could see that Harji, the detonator, really locked up because once you're in that low strong range, it's, it's very it's difficult very to hard. do anything. Yeah, I mean, Vegas, low strong, a lot frames. of range, yeah, very fast. Yes, extremely fast Hit for confirms. the range that it has, yes. Um, I mean, really, you just don't want to get hit by that. No. At all. But pretty much uh, outside of that space, Ryu is advantaged just because of the uh, more advantageous zoning game, as right. well as his uh, the speed of his normals. He has a lot of three frame normals. Right. And I noticed, just like you were saying, uh, even with the with the lower life, uh, wow. El, El Cubano oh. Loco really trying to close that space in. Yes. Well, he has to, unless he has a life lead that he can hold on to. But if he doesn't have the life lead to hold on to, he's got to enter that footsie range at some point. Marcos looking very, very solid at, that, at the end yeah. of that first round. Yeah. Um, Harji, very smart where he's throwing those fireballs. Yeah, he's playing the fireball. He was playing the fireball okay. game actually really well. Okay. El Cubano Loco actually had to make a pretty nice comeback in that last round. Oh, but right now he's 50% up. He's playing great right now. There's the jump guess. No fireball though. Get, eats the full DP. And the detonator, Harji, sitting on a ton of full meter super. right now. Yeah, full, full super, super right now. He could punish pretty much anything. Yep. Yeah, Vega's low strong is negative seven. <laughs> like, that right there, that was a risk on block. If he blocked that, that could have been super. Yeah, I mean, just anything, pretty much. Yeah, normals, you know, there's these characters that have a lot of range on their normals, but they tend to be slightly negative. Super, like, Ryu's super so fast, it can take like, care what, of those one normals. Frame, two frames? Uh, it's two frames total. I believe it's, it's either two or three, but it's also the fact that the travel time is extremely fast. Right. But yeah, the initial startup, I believe it's one plus two. Oh, oh, and there you go. Oh, he oh, wasn't almost, close enough. Almost. Or I didn't notice if it was reversal. If it wasn't reversal, that's another it would not story. Would not have worked, yeah. yeah. Loco looking very strong. Yeah, one of the... Okay, we're tagging out. Tagging out Josh for now. He's got to go play. But yeah, El Cubano Loco going right through the fireball. And now we're tagging in uh, El Cubano Loco's teammate. How you doing, Julio? I'm here to cheer my teammate on. Yeah, there you go. I'm so biased. Let's go, El Cubano. <laughs> I don't know who the detonator is, but... That's Harchi. That's Har... <laughs> yeah, he, oh. he's, been, uh, he's been signing up with different names. Different names? Uh, yeah. Over and over, yeah. So when he uh, when he finally uh, breaks uh, celebrity status, he's going to be like, the now detonator. Harchi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not Harchi. He's got to focus on something. I don't know. I guess he doesn't like Harchi anymore. Great DP right there. I remember last Harchi. time these guys played, uh, I remember... Uh, Freaking Marcos played perfect. I don't remember the last time these guys played. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do remember that. It was yeah. a quick, like, four straight rounds. Right? Yeah, it was like, if anybody wants to learn how to play perfect Vega against Ryu, yeah. uh, look, look up that match from Turning the Butter yeah. Zero? Uh, I think it was I, Zero. Or One. Well, one of those two. It, yeah, it was either Zero or One, because Marcos did very well in both of those. But now Marcos, oh. Got the make full jump in. You think he can make a comeback? I mean, he totally could, because oh. he only needed one more hit confirm, and there it is. Gets the close fierce. While the detonator has all the meter in the world, yeah, to he blow that up, that was so brave. Should have grinded an uppercut. Yeah, you know? yeah, that, uppercut. that was extremely brave from Vega. And now he's on match point. Man, I, I think Vega wins, dude. This he matchup, could do, he could do more annoying things to Ryu than Ryu can do to Vega. It's really annoying once he gets into the footsie range, because obviously that's Vega's big strong suit, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. If you're a shoulder and you're playing against uh, Marcos Vega, you're gonna mm -hmm. get. You're afraid to play slow forward. Yeah. He oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I feel like you have to play a really strong fireball game to make sure Vega doesn't get into that footsie yeah. range. Uh, EX fireballs too. Ooh. Finally makes use of that meter. The detonator with that low forward. The detonator. Turning in the low forwards into ultras. Yep. Oh, oh. that was a guess. A good punish. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. He knew he didn't need the low fierce. That's length. what happens when you anticipate too much. Right? Yeah. You wait, the twitchy fingers just have make it happen. <laughs> yeah, man. Good job, Mark. Those are good reactions, man. Everyone's reacting to stuff. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see more reaction ultras. More cow reactions. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's what that ultra's for in this matchup, just to go right through a fireball. If Harji's brave enough to throw one while he has ultra and charge. Right. And he is brave. Yeah. He's brave. Oh, oh. no. He was just a little late on that DP. That claw came in a little sooner than he anticipated. And Harji getting out of the corner. Oh, oh doesn't get the hit from off that. 
still in the lead. Looking very strong position-wise. Detonator has been in the right corner this whole time. Yeah, this entire, like almost this entire game. But he's hitting Okibana Loco back. He's, he's fighting back. Yeah, this is so much more of a fight than he put up in their previous set. Oh, and he goes for the nice. meaty, or the frame trap DP into Ultra. And that's going to give the Detonator a big life lead. Oh, wow, going right into the mid-range. He just wanted that one tag on low forward. I don't I don't know how Okibana Loco is going to pull out uh, this comeback, but he has a lot of meter. I'm yeah, guessing yeah. He, he should do a red focus gimmick. If he if he gets some sort of uh, chance to do that, oh wow, fireball right to the face, so close. Wow, much different than last week. I oh, think yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Last, last week time. was very one sided. Or I mean, two weeks ago, or, or whichever one it was. Last two yeah. they last yeah. time they played. Last yeah. time they fought. Uh, okay, that's a good choice. Kubana Luck is gonna just let himself adapt to it. By the way, that block uh, that block stand roundhouse of Vega it's pretty punishable. He could have sweeped it. The uh, just the stand roundhouse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if wow. I block two hits of it, I can punish him with oh, my elbow. Oh, both hits. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's really, it's surprisingly unsafe. Oh, that's good to know. You can probably just DP that then if it's that deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, Don't whatever the spacing ends up being. Wow, great jumping. He's been getting jump ins whenever he feels like it. Yeah, it's really hard to anti your Vega because he has that that roundhouse that just jump rounds just sticks it's, out. Yeah, I mean it's and also the jump fierce. The hitbox is so far below Vega's vulnerable area. Exactly. That yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to kind of like you have to contend with the hitbox. Yeah. So if you're antiing with normals or DPS where you want to like do them as late as possible, the timing's really tricky. Exactly. If you're trying to go for those nice late anti airs. Yeah, the clean ones. Yeah. It's gonna kill you. Yep. You have to anti air very early, which uh, can lead to trades. Yeah. There See, we go. And not full damage. See, he didn't want to go all the way deep because he right. probably would have lost it. Yeah, uh, if you want to go deep to get the full 160 off of that DP, it's very hard to do it with Vega. Yeah, especially against Vega. But Cubano yeah. Loco showing that he's the more dominant player in this match. Oh my god. Oh, and he gets a stun. Do a cool combo. Well, I wish cool. he had more meter for it. There we go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good job, El Cubano Loco.